name is Eddie, and uh, I'm wanting to do a video documentation of another stick that I've done. Um, I did this one for my mother. This was a, a piece of driftwood that we got off of the North Silamo Creek, and it's a, we call it a beaver stick. And if you look real close, you can see it still has the beaver teeth. I tried to be very careful about not moving those and letting it be very natural. This is pretty much how we found it. Um, I also did some videos of another stick that I was doing only with sandstone, which this is one of them. I sanded it and smoothed it only with the stones that we found on the creek bank. Uh, some of the unnatural, th some of the cracks that were in it, I filled it with uh, the super glue. It's a great uh, filler and, um, and it grinds down pretty good. And a couple of these knots, these branches here, I had to work them pretty good with uh, a piece of flint stone that was down on the creek bank. And since we're down at that end, let me show you the tip. This tip I bought off of Green Tree or Tree Line, I forget which one. And um, pretty neat. It, um, the rubber tip comes off and then it, it has a metal spike in there that can be used um, if you're walking on icy surfaces or if you just happen to encounter a dangerous situation where you needed a, a weapon to fend yourself off, fend whatever was after you away. Yeah, I thought that was pretty neat, and they're not too hard to, to get on there. Even the smallest uh, diameter of this cone shape, I had trouble marrying it to this. It was kind of small, so I got it on there, and then I, I used a, a two-part epoxy and uh, finished marrying it on there, and it's, I, I'm pretty confident that that'll, that'll stick right there. That'll hold pretty good while. So we go back up the stick here, and uh, I love the colors on this, and uh, I used uh, the parachute cord, 550 parachute cord, and in this one I've got about 30 plus feet of single length cord in there, so an emergency situation if you were out hiking, you just had to have some cord, it's there. Um, not the best long turk heads knot that I've seen out there, and I really struggle getting those. Um, but I'm working on it. This is the, I think the third or fourth knot that I've done and, and uh, probably one of my better ones so far. Uh, this is a slingshot that my wife put together. She made a former and uh, she made several of them for me in different colors. And uh, right from the beginning, I think this is the stick that I wanted to use it for. I just, I like the red accents and thought it would look good on, on this stick. And then I just did a quick weave. This, all that is just to, to hold the extra string for the slingshot there. Um, in the top part is that uh, my mother is a breast cancer survivor so I found that uh, coin on um, uh, Amazon I think and it has an angel at the top and then the, the pink ribbon uh, for uh, breast cancer and breast cancer awareness and breast cancer survivors. And I also on the, other, on the reverse side it has a saying by Ralph Waldo Emerson that I like and it says it's not what lies before us, it's not what lies behind us, but it's what lies within us uh, that is truly important. And so I, and then it says to celebrate life. So anyway, I put this stick together thinking of my mom and I uh, made one for my dad. I did another video on that uh, earlier tonight. And um, it's Christmas Eve, gonna wrap these things up, present it to them on Christmas Day tomorrow. And uh, looking forward to when we get some uh, nice warm dry days here in the Memphis area where they can go out and get some uh, get some walks in the neighborhood, maybe work off all our holiday uh, weight gain food stuff. So anyway, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching.